What's up, everybody? On Instagram, NBA 2K posted this on Instagram. They said, immortal in this city. And then Ronnie 2K put the eye emoji with the palm tree, which signifies, if you guys don't know already, Sunset Beach is coming back. This is the only reason you would say the palm trees, right? Because I know Miami has palm trees and that, but why would you just focus on the palm trees? Let's be, let's be real with it. Ronnie 2K said it flat out that it's not going to come. In the last video, I broke it down and said to you guys that actually is going to come into NBA. 2k 20 now the first things i want to show you these are not actual news i did not say actual news in the title these are concepts of what the park and archetype system should be like let's have a look this is a guy named pj craig on twitter go follow him this is from him shout out to him but one of my friends sent me this and he said if this would work in nba 2k 20 and i have to say yes because i am back from 2k 15 i'm back from 2k 16 i've been playing 2k ever since 2k 9 so i know a lot about 2k I've been uploading videos on 2k ever since 2k 15 and this is what I think outside balance and inside now this year a lot of two-way players have been coming up in the game Like I made a lot of two-way players this year and they're all been fire And then that's what the balance will be like a two-way player can have a two-way sharp two-way post scorer two-way shot creator two-way playmaker if you want two-way slasher that's the balance type of thing. And then you got the outsole, which would be the play sharps, the playmaking shot creators, stuff like that. You know what I mean? And then you got the inside would be the glass cleaners, the post scorers, players like that, which would make it more balanced in the game because not everyone's gonna have this everyone's gonna have a balanced to play, alright? Not gonna have one archetype's gonna be more overpowered than the next. You're gonna have like the post scoring shot creators, the post scoring slashes that can dominate in the paint and do nothing. Stretch bigs can dominate in the three. That won't be the same because in, if you put it outside, they're always gonna be nerfed just a little bit you know what i mean because in 2k16 it was the perfect balance for archetypes because no one was super overpowered and no one was super underpowered most of the people it was all based off skill so if you're really good at the game you're going to be excellent you're going to have a really high win percentage and then if you're bad at the game you're going to be like this year just with a just like playing with a shit archetype but at the same time we're all balanced we've all got the same archetype but you can choose which upgrade you want to upgrade first so you can choose either you want to put your three ball all the way at first do that you can choose to put your rebounding up last which i think would help the game by having to choose what you upgrade first now if 2k20 brings this out this is only a concept so this is not actual true but i really believe 2k could bring this in this year if not this year they have to bring it back next year because if they were to bring back archetypes and it does not work in 2k20 they should never bring it back and don't care about their bank account their little pockets it's not gonna really increase their pockets that much but if you bring back the old rep system i'm gonna talk about that later but this archetype system would you guys like to see this in nba 2k20 tell me in the comment section down below now this is the my park progress bar as you guys can see this is another concept art that he created so he said earn through my career only while my park reputation and rewards be earned through my park only that way will be both separated which i think is the way 2k should go like nba 2k 17 you remember how you can get your badges you can get overall all from my career correct you can still get it on the park don't get me wrong i love getting badges on park we should have badges on park and everything but we need a separate rep system so get rid of the leap system and bring this in because this actually worked if you guys remember 2k 16 if you guys played it or even 17 or even you guys from 15 you remember the buy park reputation it used to work because it was so much balance because you actually had to play the game you actually had to win to get your your little thing up you can't just be like this year and play 6,000 games and have an elite three like it doesn't really work like that because if you're going to be playing 3,000 games and you're only you're going to be only a legend why other players who are really good are going to be legend two legend three because they're actually better now the my career rep bar i think that's just for overall which i think is okay because if you have a you can get a 99 overall in my career and you can bring it out to the park remember that the overall system will be different to the reputation bar because everyone get a 99 but you only can be capped out like 2k17 you're gonna be capped out to like a 96 and then you're gonna get to legend 2 to get some more upgrades and get it to legend 5 to get more upgrades stuff like that will make the game more balanced as i said before this is another concept what do you guys think about this concept let's go on to the next part now what do you think about this one receive this once you've reached a certain rep so you have your my park legend and here you go your archetype that you own you got that next to your player's name you got that this is above your guy's head i think i don't think this would really work but i don't know the youtube content creator the twitch streamer that stuff is going to be back in the game because it's really high then you got the sunset og which would be me because i mean on 2k 6 15 16 17 18 and 19 if they're 18 and 19 have sunset but 15 16 and 17 I always rocked with sunset stuff like that would be a good concept as well what do you guys think about that one they are the concepts for that the, the guy made on twitter 
Want to go show him some love? Follow me on Twitter. Follow him on Twitter while you're at it. Follow me on Twitter because the best way to keep up to date when you need your badges overall grind for 2K20, hit me up. Or even 2K19, hit me up. Link in the description to my Twitch as well. But that is what I think. If NBA 2K is going to be back to sunset, as Ronnie2K's tweet said, as you could see, he looked at the palm trees. That means sunset in anyone's books, even my books, even people who have never played 15, 16, or 17. I know you guys have had enough about this fake news, but 2K20 is around the corner. A lot of new news is coming out, and I'll be the first to drop it. I I did not drop the last interview because I didn't because everything in that last interview we all knew about the last interview we knew everything was already he already said different neighborhoods coming back you know what I mean they're gonna have different neighborhoods I know they're gonna have it if you make this far in the video top in the comment section 2k 20 imagine this they get rid of the cages and make that a separate park so you have the set of the cages you got the main neighborhood which can be sunset and then you have the second which is the cages remove that and make that into Rivet or Old Town. And then you see the other park, it's full. There's one side of the park that has nothing on it, correct? In the neighborhood. You can have one side, Sunset, another side, Rivet. And if you want to travel where the cages are, you can have that, you can have that Old Town. That is what I think NBA 2K20 should do. If they hired me, I would actually make the game way better because I listen to you guys. You guys have the best op opinions most of the time, but I really feel like they need to bring back the balanced outside inside archetype system. They need to bring back the My Park Rep, the three park system. Leave the rec center how it is. Leave the prime how it is. It's working. Leave it how it is, but never bring out park matchmaking because that will never work. So that is what I think. That is today's video. Thank you guys for all the new subs lately on the new views. We hit 7 million channel views. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you are new. Catch you guys in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. I'm on the grind, you know what I mean? Show me some love by following me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, you know what I mean? Catch you guys in the next one, Peace.